In September 2019, a continent considered mythical for decades actually turned out to be quite real. About 120 million years ago, it began to seek under southern Europe. Although most of it is today buried hundreds of kilometers under the Earth's mantle, still pieces of the ancient continent remain, scattered throughout the local mountain ranges. Greater Adria existed for over 100 million years, and we can only guess what disappeared with it. From advanced civilizations to unknown biological species are just some of the bold assumptions. In this video, we will embark on a fascinating journey, learning more about the discovery of Great Adria until recently considered mythical, just like Atlantis and Lemuria. We will learn more about these three legendary lands that defy the limits of our knowledge and question the very foundations of human history. As we unravel the stories of these lost worlds, we face the external question, are these myths simply figments of the human imagination, or do they hold the key to uncovering our true origins? Great Adria Great Adria is a continent that has been the subject of over 10 years of in-depth research by geologist Del von Heisenbergen and his team, the results of which were presented to the public in a publication in the journal Gondwana Research in September 2019. Through the use of advanced geological analysis, they revealed significant details of the size, location, and history of this lost continent. The researchers discovered that the Great Adria was once a huge landmass similar to Greenland. About 120 million years ago, during the Mesozoic era, tectonic movements caused by the collision of the African and Eurasian plates led to the subduction of the continent under what is now southern Europe. This geological event led to the formation of mountain ranges such as the Alps and the Apennines. Hinsbergen's team used several cutting-edge techniques to study the rocks beneath the Mediterranean Sea. Their efforts allowed them to reconstruct the geological path of the Great Adria, including its gradual fragmation and eventual subduction. They found evidence of the continent's existence in rock formations from Spain to Iran, suggesting that this lost continent once stretched over a vast area. One of the significant discoveries of the study is the Tyronean limestone, which is found in the Apennine Mountains in Italy. This limestone originates from the shallow tropical seas that once covered the Great Adriatic. This find provided important evidence for the existence of the ancient continent and its geological history. In addition, computer-generated seismic waves have detected continental plates that have sunk into the mantle. This study shows that parts of the Great Adriatic now lies perhaps 1,000 kilometers below the surface of our planet. The discovery of the continent caused great debate among historians, geologists, and the scientific community in general. This lost continent changed our understanding of Earth's geological past and raised questions about the process that led to its subduction. Atlantis, mythical kingdom, or cradle of civilization. The story of Atlantis was first presented by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato in 360 BC through his dialogues Timaeus and Cratius. According to Plato, Atlantis was a powerful island nation that existed 9,000 years before his time. Located beyond the Pillars of Hercules, which is today's Strait of Gibraltar, the Atlantean society was ruled by 10 kings and was highly developed possessing extraordinary technological achievements. Many believe that the story is a cautionary tale or allegory invented by Plato, but others argue that it may have been inspired by a real historical event, such as the eruption of a volcano on the island of Thera that led to the decline of the Minoan civilization. As our understanding of ancient history has deepened, the notion of Atlantis has evolved from a mere mythical realm to a symbol of the birth of civilization itself. Scientists are beginning to explore the possibility that Atlantis represents a lost era in human history, a time when humanity first harnessed the power of technology and laid the foundations of modern society. This tantalizing story has fueled countless theories 
and attempts to pinpoint the exact location of this lost civilization, with some of the proposed theories being Santorini Thera theory. This theory was proposed by the Greek archaeologist Spyridon Marinettos in the 1960s. He suggested that a volcanic eruption on the island of Thera around 1600 BC, which destroyed the Minoan civilization, inspired the story of Atlantis. Excavations at the ancient city of Akaraturi have revealed advanced urban planning, multi-story buildings, and remarkable frescoes reminiscent of Plato's description. Sardinia Theory In recent years, Italian researchers led by Sergio Frau have proposed that Atlantis was located on the island of Sardinia. They claim that the megalithic structures known as Nuraga are evidence of highly developed Bronze Age civilization that could match Plato's description. Proponents of this theory claim that a catastrophic tsunami wiped out all this civilization, giving rise to the legend of Atlantis. Caribbean Theory Some researchers such as Andrew Collins believe that the ancient city of Atlantis may have been located in the Caribbean, specifically in the area of Cuba. Satellite images of underwater features resemble streets and buildings fuel this theory although conclusive evidence is still lacking. Reshot Structure Theory The Reshot Structure, also known as the Eye of the Sahara, is a geological formation in Maritania. Researcher George S. Alexander and writer Natalis Rosen suggest that the structure's concentric circles coincide with Plato's description of the capital city of Atlantis. Critics argue that this place is too far inland it was not underwater as described by Plato. The search for Atlantis has led to rethinking of its historical significance. While some consider it a mere allegory, others believe it was the actual home of a lost civilization. In their quest to uncover the truth about Atlantis, researchers continue to explore alternative theories and locations driven by their desire to solve one of the longest standing mysteries in human history. Lemuria the mysterious land of origins. The concept of Lemuria appeared in the 19th century mainly as an attempt to explain the similarity between different ancient cultures and the distribution of lemurs in the Indian Ocean. Some researchers theorize that once a sunken landmass, Lemuria connected Madagascar, India, and Australia. Over time, the idea of Lemuria evolved and became associated with the origins of humanity and the birth of ancient civilizations. Lemuria was popularized by the Theosophical Society, founded by Helen Blavatsky in 1888. In her book, The Secret Doctrine, Blavatsky presented Lemuria as the home of the third root race known as the Lemurians. According to her writings, these beings were half-earthly and possessed incredible powers. As they evolved, the Lemurians lost their spiritual abilities and became more material, which ultimately led to their demise and the sinking of their continent. Over the years, various authors and researchers have attempted to discover Lemuria. In 1926, James Churchward published a book entitled The Lost Continent of Mu, in which he suggests that Lemuria was located in the Pacific Ocean. Churchward's theory is based on his interpretation of ancient texts from India, Mexico, and Egypt, as well as conversations with high-ranking priests in India. Proponents of the theory believed that the Lemurians were highly evolved beings, both spiritual and technological, who left behind wisdom that could help humanity reconnect with its spiritual heritage. This led to the creation of groups such as the Lemurian Brotherhood, and the Lemurian Connection, they aim to reveal and share the teaching of this lost civilization. In recent years, the idea of Lemuria has been largely disapproved by geological and scientific evidence. The theory of plate tectonics, which explains the movement and formation of the Earth's continents, has shown there is no geological basis for the existence of a submerged continent in the Indian Ocean. Nevertheless, the concept of Lemuria continues to excite the imagination of people seeking spiritual wisdom and the roots of human civilization. 
Cooper's Ferry is an archaeological site that reveals evidence of human habitation dating back nearly 16,000 years. The researchers led by Lauren G. Davis found stone tools, the remains of a hearth, and the bones of an extinct species of horse. A bone containing a butcher's cut mark was also found. Several metal spearheads were found. Their length varies from 0.5 to 2.0 inches, 1 to 5 centimeters. They have two ends, one pointed and the other steamed. Radiocarbon dating found them to be about 15,700 calendar years old, which is several thousand years before the grooved blades from Clovis. It gives insight into the lives of some of the earliest settlers in North America. The site challenges the long-held belief that Clovis culture was the first to inhabit the continent, suggesting that humans arrived in North America earlier than previously thought. Cactus Hill, located in Virginia, is another site that reveals information about early human inhabitants of North America. Excavations led by Joseph M. McAvoy discovered stone tools and charcoal dating back 18,000 years. Discoveries at Cactus Hill suggest pre-Clovis cultures existed in the region, further complicating our understanding of the settlement of the Americas. Varna's Necropolis Nestled in the maritime capital of Bulgaria, Varna's Necropolis is a stunning archaeological site that takes us on a journey to the Copper Age, around 4600 BC, discovered by archaeologist Ivan Ivanov in 1972. This ancient site has captivated historians and enthusiasts alike thanks to its astonishing treasure trove of over 300 graves filled with exquisite gold artifacts. From delicate jewelry to imposing weapons and intricate tools, Varna's necropolis paints a dazzling picture of a rich and complex culture that flourished thousands of years ago. The abundance of gold found at the site is staggering. More than 3,000 gold artifacts were found with a total weight of over 6 kilograms. Tomb 43, one of the most remarkable discoveries, contains the remains of a high-ranking man, decorated with over 990 gold objects, bracelets, appliques, and holding a scepter-like object in his hands. This ostentatious display of wealth suggests that the society had a complex social hierarchy with clear distinctions between the ruling elite and the common people. But what mysteries lie beneath the surface of this golden realm? Some scholars argue that the very richness of the artifacts is that they suggest a highly developed civilization, perhaps even predating the general accepted chronology of human history. Could it be that the inhabitants of the ancient European society possessed knowledge and skills far beyond what we have given them credit for? The possibility is both tantalizing and disturbing, as it calls into question our very understanding of the development of human civilization. Still, others are drawn to this mysterious symbols and motifs found on the artifacts themselves, many of which are still being explained. Do these cryptic signs hold the key to unlocking long-forgotten secrets about the spiritual beliefs and practices of this ancient culture? Or were they merely seductive flashes in the minds of people who lived millennia ago? These lost civilizations provide a fascinating glimpse into the ancient world and the countless cultures that once flourished on our planet. As archaeologists continue to explore and discover new evidence, we may learn of more that has been lost to time. Each discovery has the potential to change our understanding of human history, revealing the complexity and diversity of our ancestors and challenging the conventional narrative of the past. One day, we may even witness the discovery of the supposed mythological Atlantis. If you like what we do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.